Abby, just the speed of the way you guys play the night. It, it, does that feel faster than what you guys have done here in the past? But it, it just seemed to be the whole 40 minutes there. Yeah, we've been really working on pushing the ball um, as fast as we can this year. Um, and our practice guys have helped out a lot with that. But I feel like, I mean, I feel like it's the same thing as in the past with Coach Mox, especially. Um, we're a fast paced team and we're looking to do that this year for sure. Abby, what impressed you most about, I mean, everyone got the action like most everyone scored. What impressed you most about tonight? I would just say the fact that we were all locked in for the whole game. Um, and it's great to see like people shooting the ball confidently. Um, and that's something that we're really trying to instill in our team this year. So. When, when you go into a game like this, what do you kind of look for? Uh, you, you're getting the dress rehearsals out of the way, but what's kind of the main thing you kind of take away from this? I mean, we approach it like every other game. Um, we come in and um, no matter who we're playing, it's about us and it's about working on us. Um, so, same way. Paige, talk about your performance shooting the basketball. <laughs> They just happened to go in. <laughs> My teammates were finding me and setting screens, and I was getting open. And it's just one of those nights, I think. And, and you're kind of going to be relied on a little more this year to, to have more of those nights, just uh, to be able to go out there and do that the first time the lights are kind of on. Just uh, what, what, how did that kind of help you tonight? Um, I think it was just a little bit of a confidence booster, you know, just to get my game legs under me and take a couple shots, you know. It's just different than practice. How are you kind of embracing this, uh, a bigger role now for you going into the season? Um, honestly, I had my meeting with Coach Mox and I just told her, you know, just tell me what to do, I'm going to do it, you know, whatever it is, if it's a role player or whatever. I just, same thing as last year, I, I'll embrace it. Abby, what are you kind of seeing behind the scenes to where you're just smiling and uh, nodding that she has taken on this bigger role for you guys? Yeah, I mean, I'm super proud of Paige. Like, we've all know, known that Paige has had it in her since she got here. And to see her um, just make huge strides in this offseason and um, just this summer and in, into games now, um, it's been really, really cool to see. Like, she is a great shooter, a great player, and um, could be happier for her. So. Uh, on the radio today, uh, Tom kind of played a sound, sound bite of you, just kind of laughing like, oh man, we're going to be good. And uh, <laughs> I, I mean, just kind of watching you guys today, I can see why you're laughing like that. But uh, just kind of what have you seen that's just like, it, it gives you that confidence, like, this is a good, you guys are going to be this good. Yeah, I mean, we have a ton of experience back. Um, and with that too, we do have like a ton of new people, but they're fitting in extremely well. They come in and work hard every day, and they're embracing the culture that we've try to instill. Um, but yeah, we're going to be really good. So it's exciting <laughs> to watch. Hey, I don't think you uh, stars were scored on. Were you in your, when you guys were on the floor? I have no idea. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. How, how good is that defense? They're your first five. I mean, you guys seem to take some pride in that. Yeah, definitely. Our whole team does, um, really. But yeah, it's something that we're for sure working on and uh, want to bring to the floor every day. So. Does it seem like that each year that you're here that the depth just gets, you know, more and more like where you look at all these girls out there playing and like going, wow, we got a lot of depth in this team? Absolutely. Um, from player one to 13, um, each player on this team is here for a reason and they deserve to be here. And our whole team has confidence in every single person to um, shoot the shots that they want to and to um, just do the things that they're good at. So. And Nayo is really impressive tonight, just the uh, athleticism kind of top to bottom for this team. Just what, what does Naya kind of bring to this? Yeah, Naya is just like, she's just like a fun person to be around. Um, and she comes in each day, works hard, does her best, um, and you can't ask for anything more than that. So. Paige, what is it like to have these upperclassmen kind of like bragging on you and looking up to you? Um, <laughs> I don't know about looking up to me, but <laughs> it's just, it's, it's nice because, I mean, I'm the only one in my class and, you know, it, it's a little bit lonely. So when Abby comes and says stuff, it, it gets, it's a little confidence boost. What was that like being the only person in your class name last year, kind of going into this one? Um, I mean, there's only two, so it wasn't like we lost a whole bunch of people, but it's, it's a little bit different, but I feel like whatever. Paige has come out of her shell this year, so it's been fun to see. What does that been like? I mean, I, I, I don't know. I know that she, she's one of the, she's probably the funniest person we have on the team. No, her and Jasmine, yes. her and Jasmine are the funniest people on the team, so it's cool to see her come out of her shell and to just embrace it all. So. All right. Well, that was
was a close game. No, I'm just kidding. Um, no, that was that was fun. Uh, obviously, exhibition games are they're meant to be fun. They're meant to you know just get our feet wet under the lights, fans in the stands. Uh, especially after last year with just you know a lot of restrictions and things like that. Um, felt good to coach without a mask on. Um, but obviously we're still taking precautions and being safe. But uh, I just like seeing our, our players have a good time, and I like seeing them, you know, uh, have some carryover from what we do in practice. Is that uh, what do you kind of look for in an exhibition game? And did you, did you see what you wanted to see tonight? Yeah, um, we just I just want everybody to get their confidence, you know, um, in practice against our scout guys and things like that is one thing. But to do it, you know. And when the lights are on in front of the fans is another thing. It doesn't even matter the competition. And I always want us to respect every team, but fear nobody. We say that all the time, respect all, fear none. So the way you respect this team is to go out there and play hard and do what we do. Um, obviously, the score will take care of itself. Uh, I think, you know, he did some things where he uh, ran some good stuff. You know, uh, Mo Baptist, I'm talking about, you know, put us in situations where there's some things that we can learn, too, and how we want to guard different um, plays, different sets, you know, things like that. But for the most part, I'm, I'm pleased with how we played. I think people got their feet wet. I think people are confident, and that's what we need going into the season. Coach, how closely do you manage the distribution of minutes in any of these exhibition games? Well, I try to get you know the kids that don't have as much experience a lot of playing time if I can. Um, but you still want your starters or your top, you know, eight kids or whatever it is to get get in um, get in rhythm and get in the rotation. So you know, we saw. Pretty much our starters start every quarter. I uh, just wanted to keep that consistent because that's how we're going to play. So um, it, it was good to just see some of our kids that haven't either played in a uniform yet or like Paige didn't get a lot of time last year just to have some time to work out some kinks. Paige came guns blazing. You know, she was fine, but some of our freshmen had to settle in a little bit. I thought they all looked good at different parts of the game um, and some of the transfers as well. But just an example, Izzy, she started out, she you know missed her first two shots, and then she hit one. So that's what happens. You just got to get some game experience, and that's what these games are for. You, you've played fast your first few years here. But I mean, that was the whole 40 minutes there, where you guys are just spreading up and down the court. So I'm not sure that had to make you happy just to kind of see that you guys are able to do that 40 minutes with how deep this roster is. Yeah, um, from the beginning, that's that's the style I wanted to play, and that's how we practice. We have a great scout team, the best scout team we've had since we've been here, and they practice like that. So if we take one second off, then you're going to get back door, you're going to get a, you know, they're going to get a run out layup or whatever. So they've done a great job helping us prepare for that. But if we can do that, I mean, we're going to wear teams down. Um, I think we're deep. I think we're athletic. We've gotten even more athletic. So to play like that, you have to be in shape and you have to be athletic. So. Um, hopefully we can keep that up for the duration of the season. That's another thing that just stuck out tonight was the athleticism. Just seeing Naya kind of deep in that, deep in the rotations there, just kind of coming off and just top to bottom. It just, it just kind of seems like you guys are athletic across the board. We are guards and posts. Um, I love that about us. I think that our posts, all of them, are some of the best post players in the country. I mean, they are really, really good. You know, Abby J. She started out slow today. Um, you know, she got. I, she, I think she just had a little bit of nerves, and I, that, that's why these games are good. But then she got going in the second half, and that was good. Um, but Naya, yeah, Naya's an athlete. Uh, she's an athlete. She can run the floor. She can rebound. She's long. Um, obviously, you already know Jazz. Abby Hip has done a great job with this summer with uh, our, our strength coach, Chris, and she's gotten more athletic. She's moving way better. As you can see, she's handling the ball better, um, rebounding better. So all of them. And we haven't even seen Jen yet. You know, Jen is, Jen is a, she's a beast in there, too. And, you know, she's not fully in practice yet, and like I said, hopefully mid-season, maybe conference, um, we'll get to see more of her. But I just think our big spot is loaded, and then so are our guards. You know, we have the, the usual ones that everybody's seen for a couple years now, but we also added some athleticism and some skilled uh, transfers and freshmen, so I like, I like what we have. Coach, talk defense a little bit. I mentioned I don't think the starters were scored on in their time on the floor together. That's a, that's a very experienced group you've got, those starting five. They really know each other well four years together. They do, and they bring a lot of leadership. Um, we have seven seniors in general, but those five, uh, they, they bring a lot of leadership, a lot of experience. Uh, they understand how we, how we scout, you know, how we really pay attention to detail and what we're trying to take away and put different positions we're trying to put the team, the opposing team in. So it, it makes it a little bit easier to coach when you know those kids can retain that right away um, and then help the younger kids. So. 
they they were good. I don't know if they got scored on or not. I just think um, from top to bottom, we try to stay consistent. That's one of our biggest things when the subs come in. Don't let up on defense. You know, don't let up on the way we push the ball and run the floor. So um, the starters set the tone, but I thought others others kept it going. When you see Paige going off for that uh, four threes, and uh, it's kind of a spot that you guys are trying to that you guys need to reload at. Just how much confidence does it give you? Just kind of see, you know, there are we got some three pointers that are start hitting uh, Delaru as well. Yeah, you know, and that's that's one of Paige's roles. But she's she's actually a very versatile player. You know, she she can. Um, get in there and finish. She's crafty. She knows how to use her body, but you know she knows that what she needs to bring to this team, um, I guess that immediately is her shooting. And I was happy to see her um, have that confidence and go out there and go four for six. That was awesome. I mean, Paige is someone in the past that has struggled with confidence a little bit, and now that she's getting a little bit more reps and more time, and she knows her role is changing a little bit, she's really embracing that. So I was really happy for her. Uh, Izzy, our freshman, she can really shoot it, and you know. First time under the lights as a freshman, she was scared to death, I could tell, um, especially when she airballed that three. And I was just like, you're okay, you know, you're okay. And she came back and she hit it. So I think you guys see her fill it up as well. Lindsay, she didn't shoot it either. She was a little nervous. Uh, Lindsay Byers, she's another freshman, but she's one of our shooters too. She can fill it up. Um, and obviously Sydney Wilson, uh, who didn't, she played great. Um, she was a beast inside. She's been working on her driving and her finishing, but she was, I think, two for four, I think, from the three. She could have taken a few more, um, but she's always one of our one of our better shooters. And then you didn't really see Bryce shoot it too well, but she's improved that. Maya didn't, you know, I didn't play Maya too much. She's getting other people, you know, rhythm and things like that. Um, but Maya's been <laughs> Maya's been consistently one of our better shooters as well. So I, I like that they've grown their game. Um, they're stretching it behind the arc. Uh, Mariah, that's something that she's been working on too. But I think, you know, again, losing some of the ones we lost last year, it's not going to be all on one person. It's not going to be on their shoulders. It's by committee, and everybody just has to step up and be confident. I'm just I'm looking at the uh, just plus 50 with Maya on the floor in 10 minutes. Uh, I just uh, what, what does she do? That's uh, um, I mean, what she did. She's not filling up the stats or doing uh, putting up crazy numbers, but kind of what does she do? That's kind of uh, Contributing to the team playing that well. I mean, well, you will see more stats from her, but Maya is just she's evolved into just a phenomenal player and leader. She always, always, always has us organized on the court. You know, she's always talking. She's getting people where they need to be. Um, she's a commanding presence, and then her defense is just you know she's one of those point guards that can guard 40, uh, 40 minutes and guard full court. Um, so I think her defense just puts pressure on the other team when she's guarding a point guard, bringing it up and takes them out of rhythm. And I think she gets us organized. Like she's a very good passer. She's scoring it better now. Um, she just came off with some back spasms. She, that's why she didn't play in the sneak preview. So just working her back into that, but she'll be fine. Um, but I, I just I love how Maya has just grown into this very very confident young woman and also leader. And I think our team looks to her a lot. And so when you see. Her on the court, she's getting us organized, and she's getting us in positions to be successful. And um, you know, she's an extension of me on the court. So whether or not she scores a point or whatever, she's definitely impacting the game. You mentioned Sydney. How much have you seen her grow, and how much are, are you counting on her this year? Yeah, I, I mean, she's grown a lot. Again, Maya's grown a lot. Uh, Bryce, everybody, you know, having a summer this year allowed us to work on some things individually. Uh, Sydney Wilson was one. You know, she's a good shooter. I need her to take more threes, though. She doesn't. She's not a high volume shooter, but she's a great shooter. So that was one thing she's been working on, so she could take more threes in the games. Uh, but also working on her strength and um, her athleticism, um, finishing through contact, which you saw that a lot tonight. And she's grown tremendously in that regard. She's always been a great defender. I think she's one of the most underrated kids on our team. She's been our X factor, and and um, you know for since I've been here, you know. And I just hope that this year she gets the recognition that she deserves. But Sydney's. Sydney's gotten better just being a versatile scorer at this point, and I'm really proud of her growth. Maya, you know, stretching the floor a little bit. She's shooting the ball better. Um, again, she's in better shape. Our strength coach, she's done a great job with with increasing their speed, their agility, um, athleticism. We got like five players now that can touch the rim. Uh, you know, <laughs> just things like that. So we're faster. You know, so you see us out there. We're in better shape. We're faster. Um, which only helps our defense and also helps us play at that pace for 40 minutes. So Sydney Wilson is no different, Maya, Bryce, everybody. Abby Hip, you can see how different she looks. Um, Jasmine, all of them all down the line.
Jazz uh, more steals or rebounds this year? <laughs> I know. She almost had a triple double. Yes, she did. That's crazy. I don't even know how many minutes she played. Not a lot, but um, you know, I think you're gonna expect. You know, to me, Jazz Jazz can be an All American. You know, once it clicks all the way for her, mm -hmm. you know, you're gonna see a, a phenomenal player. She's been great over the years, but. Um, I just think the way that she's improved her game, like now she's shooting it pretty consistently from 15 foot, and you didn't even really see that tonight, you know. So once once people start to sag off of us, I think you're going to see a little bit more of the work that they put in this summer. But I'm really proud of where Jazz is, and I'm really proud of where Abby J is. You know, Abby J is somebody who gets nervous sometimes first time out. I think she'll be better on Friday, which is why you play exhibition games and then um, and then ready to start the season. But she's definitely Abby J and Paige; those are the two most improved on our team. From this summer. You recruiting Jasmine for that fifth year yet? Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie about that. Um, her and Wilson and Maya. All, hopefully they all come back. Let's keep it going. <laughs> you obviously have amazing defensive skills on the floor. Do you look to extend that defense out this year to some pressing or some changing of defense to confuse the opponents? Yeah, so we, we actually have a few different presses in. We were gonna try and run one of them early, but it just was, we got up 10-0, and sometimes you don't want to, you know, press when you're in those situations. So I did want to work on it just to have some carryover from practice, but um, it just didn't seem like the right game to do that because I'm not out there to, you know, embarrass anybody. Obviously, we're, we're going to play hard. We're going to do us, but no need to press when you're up, you know, 30 or 40. I just think that's that's not the right thing it's to do. It's something fun to look forward to in the future. Yeah, hopefully, yes. Mariah kind of looks like a one-person press anyway, isn't she? <laughs> Yeah, Mariah, Bryce, um, Maya. Yeah, you got about four defensive defensive players of the year out there starting at least. I mean, seriously. I agree. And I, and I totally agree with you about Sid, man. She's just your blue collar worker and probably won't get her due in the conference because of the team she's on with the players around her. But she is a she's steady for you. She is. She is. Because I mean, even watching that game, I mean, you know she had a good game, but do do people really realize she was our leading scorer? You know, because you just have so many people scoring, and you know, Sydney, Sydney definitely deserves a little bit more recognition. But they all do. I mean, you, you, when you have a team that talented and that deep, not everybody's going to get the recognition they deserve. And I love that our players just want the team to, to do well. They just care about the team. You know, I fight for them individually. Like, you know, I look at my kid. This one's doing this, and this one's doing that. But at the end of the day, we just want to win. We just want to win. We don't care who gets the glory. So tonight, Sydney had 19. Next night, Bryce might have 19. Next night, Jazz might. Next night, Abby hit. Next night, Maya. I go down the list. Mariah, Paige. I mean, so it, Abby J, it just doesn't matter. At the end of the day, the W matters to us. Are you doing the laughing kind of like Abby Hip was? And I ask, oh, she's like, oh, we're going to be good. Are you doing that at all? Just kind of behind the No. <laughs> I am. We got to stay humble and hungry. That's why That's why uh, she was kind of looking at me through the corner of her eye. But Abby Hip is always going to be the first one to be like, we're good. And I'm like, <laughs> Abby, humble and hungry. But, um, you know, because you can't get full of yourself. That's when you, you know, you lose. That's when you drop a game. So we just want to. My biggest thing with them this year is being consistent, and it started out today. Like I, I don't care who the opponent is. I want us to go beat us and do us, and I thought we did that tonight. You know, we didn't get too bored because um, sometimes we Jasmine Franklin she gets bored in games like that, and she stayed locked in the whole time. So for me, that's a win. You know, so my thing is just be consistent. Whether we're playing a power five or we're playing a mid major, and then the results will take care of themselves.